Yo guys, what is on? This is Mad Mitchy 127 here, and we're just going to zoom into this. And as you can see already by the photo, this is my announcement. I wouldn't really call it a real boxing match, but I mean, it's not a real boxing match, it's a sparring match. But it's like a personal one, and I'm going to call it a boxing match. Um, you can see it's blurry, I don't know why it's blurry, it's just when you save a photo from different devices, it's blurry as fuck. Also, I'm sorry about not um, doing any live streams or nothing recently. And that's because I just got my new PC, obviously a bit of work, got a baby coming up. A lot of shit's been happening, man, but as you can see, a lot of shit has been happening. And I'm going to do my uh, prediction and tell you how all these beefs have started between... Everyone who's fought, who's fighting on this card, has beef. Trust me, beef. And especially the main event. I'm fighting a twat. But what is it? So the first fight of the night is going to be Lewis versus Bradley Jenkins. So Bra Lewis Ball, here, versus Bradley Jenkins. So... At this thing, me and Leon versus Robbie. Um, me and Leon? Leon, which is me, um, versus Robbie. So we are, I'm training my own people, which is, I'm training, well, I would say training Thomas Kelly, but he's, he's part of my team, so he's part of my side. Lucas Heads, which he doesn't want his photo and all that, non to private reasons. And then Rocky Mitchell, my brother, and then I'm training Lewis Ball. So we're going to do a prediction from... And also give the fight order. So the first fight of the night is going to be Lewis Ball versus Bradley Jenkins. And then it's going to be Lucas Head versus Adam Fallows. Then Charlie Thomas versus Rocky Mitchell. Going to be a banger, man. Thomas Kelly versus Leo Pella. And then your main event, Leon Mitchell versus Robbie Bryan. Which, fuck me, man. It's fucking sick. I can't wait. Uh, December 7th, by the way, guys. December 7th. But anyways. First fight of the night. Lewis Ball versus Bradley Jenkins. So I see this fight. It's a 50-50 fight. Because no men... Has ever boxed before. I've seen both spar. Lewis Ball before he didn't look very great. Now he looks even better than ever. I've been tra I've tra I've really trained him like one day, and he's been he's been listening to me. I've been giving him hints, uh, more like training, like what like what just you know training fucking shit to do. Give him like advice, tips, like what to do in certain situations, breathing techniques, stance, head movement, blocking. But I'm, I'm keeping it to the basics because you want to get everything in someone's head and then they're just going to be like, oh my god, they're going to panic and they're not going to, it's not, they're not going to learn everything in a whole month, you know. But anyway, it's Lewis Ball versus Bradley Jenkins. My prediction, Lewis Ball. Um... But I, ha I just, like, Lewis is such a good listener, man. He's got, he has got the potential, honestly. I mean, he's... He's never fought before, but I know he's got the potential. I mean, everyone has. Everyone can do it. Anyone. Even Bradley Jenkins, like, I've seen his spy. He was looking decent. It's just, he doesn't throw much, man. But Lewis Ball, he, he's on you, man. He's on you. And then, um, yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Lewis Ball. Um, but I'm not going to be biased. I think Lewis Ball's going to win. I think he's going to win. And then the next fight of the night, Lucas Head versus Adam Fallows. Holy fuck, bro. This one's been beef now and again. They're respectful, but they don't like each other. They don't like each other. So Lucas Head, he's coming out of, um, he used to train at a boxing club near mine, where I used to train. Um, Lucas Head, he's got a good jab, he's got a right, he's good right hand, he's got a nice posture, you know, I've been training him, I give him a light spar, he's fucking good man, he's powerful, he is good. He's short, but he's good. But thing is, Adam Fallows, he came out of nowhere, I, I took him lightly. I mean, still not the greatest to me, because I think I'm experienced, but Adam Fallows, Sparred Riley Jenkins. His head movement was okay, but again, Lucas had, I think, stoppage, man. KO. Round, maybe round two or three, late round two or three. I'm not sure how many rounds are going for. Probably five. I mean, I'd rather them get five than four. I mean, four would be alright, but I'd rather than five, man. But I think Lucas head stops Adam Fallows. But Adam Fallows is good, man, but it's just, he looks fragile. He looks really fragile. Lucas head ain't, he shouldn't mess with him, man. Should not mess with him. And then the fight, the next fight of the night is Charlie Thomas versus Rocco Mitchell. Um, Rocco Mitchell, as you know, obviously Mitchell is my brother, uh, my youngest brother. He's, he's good, man. He's good at boxing. Um, obviously, people write him off, and some people I know that I'm fighting said that he's crap. He's not crap. It's, I think he smoked. I, well, I don't think. I know he smokes Robbie Bryan. But... Um, Charlie Thomas, he came out of nowhere, man. This last Sunday, I just met him. Came out of nowhere, sparred at him. I mean, not the greatest, but he still went for it, man. Landed some nice right hooks. Rocco needs to be careful. But both been trash talking now and again. I mean, Rocco's definitely, he wants it all, man. He even said this whole roster is his. Obviously, including me, not, because I'm better than Rocco. 
and skill wise also, but I think Brocco goes out, it's gonna be he's fucking good man. He's powerful, his right hand. You need to watch out for because he times that right hand perfectly. He fought Thomas Kelly last May, top from May, I'm pretty sure. And he just he just knocked him down. He was he was the fastest to ever knock him down. Me and Rocco are the only people to stop Thomas Kelly and but then other people that fought and actually no Perrin stopped him as well, but then obviously Robbie thinks he's gonna beat me when yeah. I don't know man. But yeah, obviously Rocco I think wins just KO round two. See what Charlie's like, you know. But Charlie's he no he shouldn't write him off, man. He's fucking he's decent, he's decent. I mean He's just some random guy, and he's got balls, man, for taking the fight up, taking the um, opportunity. Real good, real good balls. And then the co-main event, this is when it gets spicy. <laughs> it's a 50-50 uh, fight. Thomas Kelly versus Leo Pello. Um, where, oh boy, where do I start with this one? So how did it start? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but um, yeah, Thomas Kelly versus Leo Pello. So Leo Pello, I know what Thomas Kelly's like, but I know he's improved. I, I've been quiet about this. I've been quiet about this to Robbie Bryan, but I've seen clips of Thomas Kelly, and man, he's a different animal now. He's he's fucking different, man. He's something about Thomas. He keeps going for it. No man, no no matter how many times he gets knocked down, he comes back up and he fights back. Leo Pelo, I'm never, I, I'm not gonna write him off either. I shouldn't write anyone off, even Bradley Jenkins, man, like, cause he he's big, he's a big guy. You never know. I mean, Leo, Lewis Balk, if he leaves his chin out and he gets catched, caught, you never know what can happen. A punch can pe change the whole fight. But Leo Pello, he's a it's a 50-50 fight because I've never actually seen him train. I've seen one um, train, like one bit, a few bits of him um, on this like this fight trailer thing that Robbie Bryan made. Apparently he was drunk. Um, punching technique didn't look very great at all. He didn't twist with his wrist. It just looked weak because uh, he let Bradley Jenkins let him punch him in the face. It looked, well, obviously the friend says well, he isn't going to go hard, but obviously you can't you can't take nothing off that. You know, I didn't see you didn't see fuck all from that. And then you saw a bit of him just moving around, bit weird movement, but like, there wasn't like pitch black, dark. Um, so yeah, it could have been when he was drunk. But I meant supposedly. But yeah, Thomas Kelly, he's he hasn't got power, but it's just like that overhand when it lands, it's fuck, it's a massive scoring shot. So I see this fight going the distance. Oh, I think I go in like six rounds. Um, I'd say unanimous decision for Thomas Kelly. As Thomas has done this run so many times, man. He's done it so many times. And he's going to continue doing it. He wants to rematch with Rocco in the end. But um, I'm not sure about that. Don't think so. <laughs> but, um, man, Thomas Kelly's my side. And I fucking hope he wins. But the most fight I'm worried for is obviously Lewis. Because, God, man, Lewis is... He's a good man. He's a good guy. He's a good kid. He's never going to hurt... He wouldn't hurt us all. But I'm gonna, I've been training him, man. And he's, I, even he's ready for... He, after after the first training session, he felt even more confident when he saw Bradley fight. He's like, okay, I can actually do this. He realized he can actually do this. But anyways, Thomas Kelly wins. Rocco Mitchell wins. Lucas Head wins. Lewis Ball wins, hopefully. That's the fit that's like the proper 50-50 of this fight, card. But then obviously you've got the main event. So how did this first happen? Leon Mitchell versus Robbie Bryan. So supposedly before first for this card, I was meant to be fighting Perrin Ball. And um my last two performances with him, I, I just outboxed him. But um, there was a few times I got scrappy and got and I just, you know, stuff happens. Um, I slipped when I did over and I probably polied over. And obviously I got very upset about it, angry, because I slipped over. And then I remember I getting tripped over, um, over a parent's foot. And I also got angry over that. And then Thomas Kelly was like, oh shit. And then obviously... It was just a bit embarrassing for me. I was just tripped over it. It's just like it's just sloppy performance. And then obviously Robbie Bryan, the person that he is, he make he takes a grudge over it, um, and then he's gonna keep bringing it up. <clears throat> he brings it up twenty four seven when something starts. But he said he has said some fucked up shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything because I'm just it's gonna cause more shit. But I don't care about causing shit. We're not friends. I'm not friends with Robbie Bryan. I'm gonna be alright with him. I'm gonna talk to him. But until that fight, we're not friends. And Roy Bryan, I hope you watch this, but we're not friends. I mean it, we're not friends. But I still, I honestly do respect him for actually taking this fight. But anyways, I got carried away. How did this start? How did this fight start? How it started, obviously, it was meant to be fighting Perrin. Another rematch. And I was like, I'm fucking, I want it, man. I want it. I knew how to, I know how to beat him. I beat him so many times. 
my parents never beat me. But it's just like, Perrin didn't want to fight no more. And I was just like, fair enough. I mean, do what you want, man. And he's, he lives in all in Truro. I mean, he's like half an hour away, man. I mean, I don't mind, honestly. And then Leon came out and said, fuck it. I know, like, at the time, we was, like, good friends, supposedly. Um, and then he said, ah, well, let's fight. And I'm going to spill the beans. It was meant to be fake beef at the start. Fake beef. I was like, all right, yeah, cool. And then fake beef started, and then it was just... Oh, I think he thought I was getting serious with it, and then he started, like, part of vid, like, the pictures on me on the ground against Perrin, making it out look like I got knocked down, but I never did, and I was said, send the video, and he never did, and then I just, I just don't know, he just, and then he, we started getting arguing, saying they never liked me, he, like, he never been, he never wanted to be friends with me, talk shit about me, his family don't like me, it's just, Stuff like that, it's just petty stuff, but um, I'm not going to mention any other stuff because it was just like, it's just, obviously it's personal, but I don't want to say anything because what's the point? No point moaning about it, um, but who do I think is going to win? <laughs> obviously me. Um, I mean, seeing last Ro um, spar from Robbie last Sunday, he did improve his punching technique. Last time, last time out, I saw him spar, he was just these slapping shots like, like that. But it's a lot better now, it's a lot better, I mean, it's a bit better with the shots and his um, punch selection, but it's just like, what I saw was only, obviously I know he wasn't going fucking, like, trying to show, but I did see enough, and my prediction is round one, KO, I mean that, um, but yeah, it's it's very personal, like, me, again, I'm not friends with him, I'm, 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 I'm being, speaking nice to him, asking him to come out with me now and again, or just, just if you shoot some videos, you know, well, I don't mind him, but as a fighter, I respect him. But as a person, I don't respect him. I think he's just a horrible person sometimes. I mean, he can be nice, it just depends. But man, I'm excited. I mean, I'll give Robbie Bryan all due respect. Everyone who's fighting on this card, all due respect, because it takes fucking massive guts to get in the ring. Whoever you're fighting, if you're fighting a bum, it don't matter. It takes big balls to get in the ring. And, Obviously, the location hasn't been confirmed yet, but hopefully we'll be getting a ring, a boxing ring, um, in a boxing club. It's not 100% yet, but if not, it's, we're going to have to, like, get something up, like, fucking do outside, but, like, around gates and all, like, something around us, so, like, no one can run away fucking far away, so I'm chasing them around, you know? It'll be fucking ridiculous. But, um, it'll be good, man. But, yeah, guys, that'll be it. That'll be fucking it. Yeah, so... I think I think my team's gonna pretty much just win, dominate. It's just the Lewis Ball fight. It's just, I'm not too sure on. I mean, Lucas Head versus Adam Fallows is like a it's like a 60-40 fight. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those. You know, like Lucas Head's got the power and he's got a good jab and he's got a good right hand and he's got good hooks, bro. He's good. He's got a good stance as well. He's got a good posture. I'm really I'm really proud of him. And also Lewis Ball, I'm really proud of him. Proud of Thomas Kelly, proud of Rocky Mitchell, I'm proud of myself. I'm, oh, oh, I'm, not, I'm, not even, I'm proud of everyone else on this card. I mean, like, Leo Pello, Adam Fallow, Barry Jenkins, Charlie, definitely Charlie Thomas. You just didn't care. You just fucking took it. Didn't, didn't really, wasn't too fussed about it. Um, but, yeah, I'm I'm very glad that I've got this fight. I never knew I actually really wanted to fight Robbie as much as I do now. I just, like, at the start, we used to do fun running spice because I didn't want to, like, go hard or hurt him because he was my friend at the time. I thought he was. But now, apparently, he never was. But yeah, man, I'm excited. Um, all due respect. Whoever watches this from the fight card, good luck, guys. Um, I believe in you, if you're my team, my side. But yeah, man, everyone, just fucking show your heart out. No matter what happens, if you get caught clean, fucking get at it. Dig deep. Like, man, it'll be good. But yeah, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed that. Whole lot of fun. Whole lot of fun. It was really good. I'm um, just announcing this um, fight card. I hope you guys enjoyed that once again. But yeah. I will come out more with like more streams soon and videos, probably this weekend, but I will be training um, Lewis and Lucas and Rocco, but Rocco's going to give them light spires and so am I. Um, it's going to be good, man. I'm fucking excited. I'm pumped. Let's fucking go. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's go. Right. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video and have a nice, have a nice rest of your evening. Or whenever you're watching this, whatever. I don't know and I don't care, but <laughs> yeah, man. See you lot in a bit.